Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. So this time around we're taking on Tritoch, who Tritoch, Tritoch, I don't know if that's supposed to be a hard CH or a soft one, but this is a, a very, very ridiculously easy fight. Like seriously, there's so many ways to wall this guy so utterly and completely. One piece of ice protection. Nope, he can't do a thing. Reflect. Oh, he's useless. Runic? He's done for. It's like, what's the point of a boss? <laughs> it's that easy to make yourself completely invincible. I mean, this isn't even stuff that you're not likely to have on you. I mean, the ice protection, maybe, if you did, went here before Mount Zozo, which the game led you to. Reflect if you somehow missed every wall ring in the game and decided they weren't worth buying. Runic if you didn't bring Celeste, but it's absolutely inconceivable to think that you wouldn't have all th have one of those three things. Alright, right across this bridge. And then up. I don't quite make it to him because I'm one step off to the right of the tile that I need to step on to f start fighting him. Which gives me an opportunity to open my menu and fill with stuff. Alright, let's double check that... Nope, the person at the bottom just didn't get hit, they didn't die. As I sort of expected, to be honest. Hello, Tritoch. Now, I set up uh, Edgar and Sabin with wall rings because Gal will be raging and those two can be on separate controller slots to control them easily, but Setzer isn't worth uh, figuring out what to do with them, so. Yep, that was Setzer. Uh, what? Oh, I must have gone to the uh, defend. So let's just uh, put myself on item to resituate myself. Thankfully, I can't die, so I don't really need to worry. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing. Okay, I'm on a fight command. I think. Does that do what I think it does? Yeah. Weird. L and R make noises when you're on the fight command. Why? It makes no sense at all. Alright. Oh, well, this is Edgar, so let's put him on drill. This has got to be Gal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I don't need to worry very much in this battle, and I'm certainly taking advantage of that fact. Look at that 3,000 damage. Isn't that ridiculous? With his low magic defense and the fact that I can, my ice protection from the snow muffler allows me to stack double earrings on Gao, unlike the Ice Dragon. This guy takes 3,000 damage instead of 1,000, although he still does about as much damage as Sabin on average, thanks to the fact that he has a tendency to punch the boss. Oh no. Thankfully I've got three characters, so I've got three characters in my burst of attacks whenever I get off of the uh, freezing status, which takes a while, and unfortunately he heals himself and not doesn't get hurt by poison while he's on it, so this battle isn't going to be super short. I mean, all that kerfuffle in the menus at the beginning is barely even going to slow this fight down, relatively speaking. He can rasp himself, but I don't think he's... I think he's got an enormous an MP pool on, like, certain bosses, Delhan Kofkov. So... 
He's not gonna rasp himself out of that. Hello, Edgar. Hello, Sabin. Nice to see the Figaro Bros hanging out again. Stop doing that, you're wasting my damage. Sensor actually has better damage than Edgar if I use his slots to the fullest, but I'm too lazy, so. Good, he didn't get cold dust. Good, I have a blaze coming his way. Grasp, that's okay. I just don't want to hear more cold dust, because that slows down the battle a lot. I mean, I could have people throwing out fire spells at Gao, but... I'm not even sure if anyone knows fire. Edgar probably knows fire. Dang it, there goes Sabin again. Can I get another blaze off? Yep. Just keep going nuts with the plays. Especially if he's nice enough not to... No, you're wasting your chances. <laughs> you had a perfect opportunity. <laughs> Sloan City wins the race in this case, I guess. Well, I guess Fast and Loose would win the race just as easily here. This is a pretty dumb race. This is like going up against grade threes and track and field. <laughs> I think I'm almost capable of doing that now. I think I just need a little bit more practice. Drill to the face, which means that I'm probably no eight seven to got a couple phantom rushes in before he uh, got frozen again, that is. Edgar's drill won't even keep up with the amount he's healing, but at least it's something. Grasp I don't care about. If Gao goes nuts on him with Blaze, this battle can be over fairly quickly, but it's its own segment, so I'm not worried if it goes on a little bit. It's not going to be interesting either way, that's for sure. And if he doesn't freeze seven, that will be great too. Even if I mess up it, Blitz input, it's barely going to slow the battle down at all because... He's not going to get frozen because I messed up a Blitz input. Nice, he nailed Gao only, which means that he's not going to be healing himself with that spell. Alright, gotta be making some progress now. A couple more blazes thrown into the mix. I forget how much HP this guy has. Well, it had to happen eventually. I was getting pretty lucky, to be honest, with the amount of uh, Phantom Rushes Seven was getting off there. Edgar might almost be off of uh, Frozen by now. Yep. Knew it. So now Edgar can take Seven's place, or at least attempt to, pitifully. Goodbye, Gao. What are the chances that Edgar could finish him off? Pretty much nothing. Especially with that, because that healed like 600, and Edgar only does like 200. I can hold the button here. If uh, Seven comes off of uh, Frozen, his Blitz actually doesn't trigger if I'm just holding the button like this. Probably to prevent accidents. Which was the smart move on the developer's part, I guess. And actually, what well, I figured that out not too long ago, definitely after I entered the world of ruins, so... It might actually be a useful way to identify Blitz from something like Slots, which will trigger if you just hold... Yep, that's 7. 
slots will trigger if you hold the button. So will Sword Tech. But in that case, I probably won't be getting a full use out of it. Besides, Sword Tech sucks. Why would I ever use that? <laughs> Especially in an LLG, all you can do is a bunch of cruddy attacks. Alright, he should be dying fairly soon. Well, that was pitiful, Gao. All you did was punch him once before you got frozen again. Edgar's doing more damage than you are at this rate. Spoke too soon, I guess. Whatever, seven's the more important one to keep off of uh, frozen status. Or... Yeah, I guess that was seven. Crud. <laughs> Messed up. Oh, that way guy's frozen. So, it's time to wait again. Gao should be the next one off of it. Rasp makes no difference. You can use Rasp all day long, I don't care. I'd be interested to see how much Fire 3 from Morph Terra could do against this guy, but not so interested that I'm going to go get Terra Phoenix Esper and T-Shirt Fire 3 to find out. Flame Shield would be able to do like 6,000-ish damage, so I guess that would be how much it would do. Because I, I know I use Thunder Shields against Inferno and those cut through magic defense, of which this guy has pretty much none. I have to... S I have a feeling it's safe to assume by how much Gauss Blaze is doing. Nice, there he is. Now after that huge waste of time, <laughs> let's go back to the safe point. Because if I mess up in tomorrow's cave, I do not want to be redoing that fight every single time. And that was probably long enough and it contained a boss, so it's going to be its own segment, that's for sure. Hooray, I got Tritoch, which teaches me a bunch of spells that are going to be easily outpaced by things like Traveler. However, they may get some use. Who knows? Maybe against one of the dumber bosses in Kefka's tower if I don't want to swap Gauss, Gao, or Gogo -Go in to sweep the day out from under Thing's feet. Let's walk all the way to the bottom. That'll line me up nicely with the bridge, thankfully. Now walk all the way right to the bridge. Cross the bridge too. <laughs> now, one, two steps back. Well, I came after I counted, so I'm not going to complain. And the enemies up here, I don't think, have any real hope of killing Cam. They could do it eventually if I sat there and held the fast forward button for a minute, but <laughs> I don't think that counts. Unless they have some sort of spell that I'm not aware of that could actually do not insignificant damage to Gao there. Up and right till I get to the save point. There's the save point. 15 minutes. See you next time.